I'm gonna make part number two in respect to this case. This was somewhat rationalized to me later uh, by this police department that like I didn't have a choice what am I gonna do what am I left to do with this and that uh, she's a Russian and this is Poland and this and that no this is wrong uh, for number one as a police you are to enforce the laws in Poland uh, international treat especially in respect to human trafficking that's the number one thing as a police officer this is exactly what you are expected you're expected to stand up for the Polish laws and also whatever <coughs> pertains to the Poland in respect to international treaties and one of them just happens to be this one here it's called human trafficking of humans this is a highly punishable crime I am looking forward for the Polish police to look into this matter uh, under close supervision of the international authorities because there partially is true in all this. What can you as a police officer do about this stuff when you alone are surveillance, you're supervised by the Warsaw? If the water comes from the Warsaw, then there is very little you can do about it. And if you do notify Warsaw about what's going on in Grotniki, and Warsaw doesn't do anything about it, then you as a police officer also, you are limited. There is very little you can do about it. This is not a joke. This would be number one issue. The second issue, uh, she would not want to confirm this here because it would be like, do not involve the police. Do not involve the police. Do not involve these people here. These people did not want to get involved. So the girl would confirm it. Children, she would confirm me. Uh, she would confirm me this location here and so on. Uh, she would confirm me other details like how she is from Russia. I remember all this stuff. But she would not confirm me this one because she is afraid of police, Zgersh police, becoming involved, becoming liable for this stuff here. Uh, how much they're liable is exactly what I have explained. So this thing has got to be investigated thoroughly, foremost by the international institutions who have to supervise Polish investigation in respect to this case. So this case, so this whole thing can be, you know, this can be done the way it should be done, according to the law. And not that you're going to have the whole area, the whole little city here terrorized, uh, turn into some kind of a terror camp where you can pretty much do on behalf of another country whatever it is the hell that you want to do. Warsaw has got some serious problems. Some very serious problems, Mr. Kaczynski. Very, very serious problems. Thanks for watching this video. This would be a part number two.